tennis fans, I'm Blair Henley and welcome to Tennis Now TV. Roger Federer will forever be known as one of the best tennis players in history, but for as cold and calculated as he can be on the court, he also has a sense of humor. In fact, as his career has progressed, we've seen more and more of Federer's funny side. So we compiled some of his most laugh-worthy moments for your viewing pleasure. Enjoy! Do you know what you're going to give me for Christmas yet? I don't... You know what? I'm going to play an exhibition. <laughs> 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 Do you train really hard in the off-season? Can you give me any tips, anything you can talk about? Oh, it's all talent, that don't work. I just sit on the couch. <laughs> you, you thought you had something going, right? That you were one of those, like was Lendl, that, you know, made us generation work hard. Not with me, anyway. I, I didn't get inspired. <laughs> no. No, I, I, all I do is really just take care of the kids, you know. I won't say no if Andy Murray decides now, all right, he's a nice guy, Rog, he's a father, and uh, let's... You know, I won't say no. <laughs> but I know that uh, he'd like to win the first for British tennis since, what is it, 150,000 years, so... <laughs> The first thing that comes to my mind when I won in 2009 is that the moment I won the tournament, I went to my knees. You know what I thought about? No, what did you think? Pink elephant. Really? It was a big and a strong moment for me in my life that it wasn't my family, it wasn't Coupe de Mousquetaire, it was a pink elephant. Roger Federer's hair is much prettier than Rafa's. A uh, fact, yeah. No. <laughs> oh, legend, I don't know, who cares? <laughs> you hit the ball over the net as if you were LeBron James. I mean, <laughs> really aggressive, I loved it. Okay, yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy you liked it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're in Ohio, LeBron James is in, you yeah, know, a Cleveland Cavalier. <laughs> Right. <laughs> for the pictures, I don't know. I, I would have loved to put my knees up more, but I didn't want to miss the smash and look like a fool at the end. So <laughs> I, I prefer to be in a straight line and keep balance and make the smash. You know. This is tough, I tell you. Since this is for Latin America, maybe I can undo one more button. <laughs> Una pregunta inevitable es saber su opinión, quizá más madura ahora. <laughs> oh man, cool. that was for uh, that was for Michael Jordan for sure, because you don't know if you're going to get that set up again. And you hit Mount Matosovic right here on the tush. No reaction. Here, this is it. So I'll nominate DMC, Seve, and Rito. Here we go. Look at him, he can't help himself. So. This rivalry is intense, man. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Rafa, start, you know? Do something. <laughs> Break the racket. Is it expensive? Yeah, well, a little bit. All right. <laughs> I mean, okay, good try, I guess. Oh! 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 Oh!
moment, forcément, avec tout le monde, qu'est-ce qu'il prend hein ah ah <rire> Qui nous rappelle, Marie-Laure, qui nous rappelle celle de Nîmes, celle de Palexpo en 1992. La même joie, l'équipe qui se lâche, qui se libère. L'après-midi n'est de loin pas terminé. C'est vrai, Stan et Roger, ils vont revenir à l'interview. <rire> On l'espère. How many matches have you won on hard court? In my career, indoors doesn't count, huh? I guess. I mean, I'm not, never going to guess it anyway, but. Uh... All right, uh, I got over a thousand matches. I just read 800 wins. I'd say 543. <gasps> 546? Oh, oh. God, not bad. Well, leave it me against the wall. That's good enough. Ça c'est H mot. Ça va donner le temps de chercher, oui, ça l'a fait. C'est une première, ça pour moi. C'est trop tard maintenant pour faire des téléphones. Look, I've got the record at any rate. I'm keen to see whether someone will go on to beat my record this week. So it's already been beaten. Oh, no, I'll have to go back going. again now. No. <laughs> and nothing to lose, I guess. But Is that, I mean, do you ever practice that? I do. We do a lot, actually, but they never work. <laughs> Unbelievable. Check it out. Pretty big moment in the match that could pull it off, too. Well, that's why I guess it was the greatest shot I ever hit in my life. So it was... Uh... Howdy, partner. Up or down? Up. Down. Sorry. You know the steam has spin effect technology. I get your ball spinning more than the wheels of my pick em up truck. Pick em up truck. This. And I say too much this. And how does this make you feel? No, that was wrong. How does this make you feel? How does this. How does this make you feel? So I'm saying this instead of this. Almost. Can I take that for you, Mr. Federer? No, thanks. I got it. It's a rough one. <laughs> In all time of tennis, who is or were the best? But I mean, the most beautiful. Ah, you can't say Mirka. I can't about Mirka, my wife. Of course, she used to play, so she's always number one. Uh, you have to say that as a, as, as a husband. Better. Let's get married. I know how it is. Anyway, exactly. And then I guess, um, who do we have? Gabriela Sabatini was beautiful, right? Uh, Anna Kornikova was very famous for being good looking. Uh, I have a good taste, Roger. You think so? Yeah, man. I agree oh. with you. All right, thank you. I'm happy we have the same taste. <laughs> but don't steal my wife, okay? <laughs> okay. The animal that matches your personality the best would be... I guess a lion, just because I'm a lion star sign. It's my favorite animal. and Okay, they lie around all day, which I don't do, but... Um, I guess they got a big growl, which I hopefully have too on the tennis court. I don't know. pretty clear tonight that uh, I'm obviously in Roger's head and uh, he didn't quite know how to deal with it there he's uh, he's nor he's not very good under pressure as you saw in that tiebreaker um, you know so I just I just played to that yeah he hasn't figured you out yet yeah he has no idea how to play me so no 
I'll probably stick to tennis. You're not very intimidating. I know. No. You're like, you're disarming or something. You're very Swiss. I don't know what it is, but it's... <laughs> very neutral, you know, very relaxed. Everything in his life needs to be perfect. Whatever works, really. I heard he's very particular about his coffee. Mm. You know, I vary between espresso, ristretto, cappuccino, you name it. I just... wouldn't be playing from the baseline. Right. I'd have to, I'd have to creep into the net a little every bit, once yeah. in a yeah, while. It's probably a good idea. <laughs> I, 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 just, I, I, it's the right thing to do because now we're playing on this wobbly grass courts, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm going to draw something because I'm a very, very good painter. Okay. Nice shirt. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Don't be too sad. I went through some rough ones as well. I won on this court last year, so um, I came back and won. So I, I won five, but still, it hurts. Um, and that one was uh, very particular. It was for a good <laughs> cause, and we had to do this thing quickly for five minutes, and it ended up taking 45 minutes. <laughs> we were sweating bullets because we couldn't control ourselves anymore eventually. And his accent in English was just classic, so I, I kept on looking at him, and I couldn't help myself uh, to laugh all the time. Thanks for joining us. What's your favorite Federer moment? Let us know in the comment section below, and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss a thing. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.